Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to do with you a small project from the redheart.com website. And of course, we know how our technology is nowadays. It's all about technology everywhere. So I thought I would do an iPod koozie. They're absolutely adorable. They're simple projects and it is uh, an easy project. So you see the line there that shows it's easy. What you're going to need is one skein of yarn, your choice. Uh, if you want to do your ribbon part of it up here a different color, you'll need two. You're going to need a four millimeter crochet hook. Okay, so I'm going to use a four millimeter. You will need a yarn needle. I am going to probably put a button on the front of mine. I like to add decoration, so I'm not sure yet which button I'm going to do as normal. You guys know me. I'm always finicky about my buttons. So I picked out three different kinds and sizes here, and they're different shades of brown. So if you do choose to put a button on, you will also need a smaller needle to help uh, sew that on. And you will be working in continual rounds, so you will need a stitch marker. Okay, and then to sew on your button, you'll need some of this uh, crochet thread. So now the colors that I'm going to use, I'm using um, like the sugar and cream yarn. This is one of the rolls that I dyed myself. It's beautiful. It's got the teal and the white and the gray. So the base of my uh, iPod koozie is going to be with this uh, shade. And then I'm going to do the rib up here in just plain white. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to get started. Um, your koozie should measure five by two and three quarters. Uh, so that's going to be 12.7 by seven centimeters. You're going to be using chains and single crochets and of course basic stitches. Um, so you are going to be doing a total of 17 rounds, okay? So, and also you're going to be working in a continuous spiral, as I said, and you're going to be doing a little bit of ribbon. So, um, let's get started with that. The first thing you want to do is grab the yarn that, if you're going to make it all one color, grab your yarn. If you're going to do two different colors, like I'm going to do, then grab uh, your base color, which uh, will be the base here, not including that. All right, so let's get this party started. So what you want to do is make your slip knot, of course. Okay. And you're going to chain nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. You're going to single crochet into the second chain and by now I hope we all know how to do that um, and then you're also going to single crochet in the next six okay so let's do that so one two three four five and six that's going to leave you if you did this stitch count correctly it will leave you with one stitch remaining and then what you want to do is three single crochet in this last chain this is your turning chain so you're going to do three single crochet into this stitch okay as soon as I get my hands operating one two and three and you're going to notice that you're going to just automatically turn your work around it will it will do that on its own okay so now what you want to do is uh you're going to be working on the opposite side of course so you're just going to be working in these top chains right here or loops so now what you're going to do is you're going to single crochet in the next six okay so you're only going to have that one hoop there, so you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four, five, and six. And I'm done working over my tail here, so I'm just going to trim this up. That way it's out of my way. Oh, my scissors are not... Somebody been cutting something else with my scissors. <laughs> That's nice. All right. So then what you want to do in your last stitch, you're going to put two single crochet. Okay. So that's going to be one and two. Okay. So now on uh, combining both sides, you should have a total of 18 stitches. All right. So now rounds two through 12, you're going to single crochet all the way around. All right. So you're going to go in to this next stitch, which is going to be right here. All right, as soon as I get it correctly put in. So you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, okay, that's that side. And then you're going to keep going. So this is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 17 and we're back where we started which is 18 okay so you're just going to continue this and it's going to fold up where you're going to be building both sides of this up at one time okay so again you want to put your stitch marker this was um, row two you want to put your stitch marker right here in your last stitch or in your first stitch of the next uh, row so you've already done uh, round two so you're going to be working on round three now and you're just going to keep going around and round and round and every time you get back to the stitch marker you add an, um, another row to your count and you're going to do this for 12 rows okay so I'm going to complete that and I'll be back for the next video